Hello, David Ocean, and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add a scroll triggered pop-up in your blog post in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so right now I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the next stage is to, or rather the first stage is to install the layout pack. Now the layout pack is going to style our posts. So this is also free. You can find it in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. I'm gonna use that as my starting point. So I'm gonna come over here to Divi, click on theme builder. So this is where I'm going to install that layout. So I'm gonna click here on portability, click on import, and then you can see here, I've already gone ahead and downloaded my layout pack. So the one that I need is the uh, post template, okay? So I'm just gonna drag the post template over here and then import and import theme builder. So there we go. So I have now my layout for my posts. I'm gonna click on save changes. Now, if you go to any of your posts on your website, you're going to see that um, the change has already been done. So I can go to any one of these and uh, let's view this in a new tab. So now you can see that it has taken the style of the layout that we've just installed. There we go. Okay, great. So now that the template has been installed, what we need to do is to head over back to our theme builder because all the changes we're going to make are going to be in the custom body. So I'm gonna click here on this pencil icon to customize my custom body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here to this area here which contains the body of our content and click on this plus button to add a single column. So I'm gonna click here on my single column. And then before I can go in and start making any adjustments to my, my blurbs, I am going to come over here to my row settings. So here on the row settings, the first thing we need to do is to add a background color. So I'm gonna come over here to background and I'm gonna set my color to white. Next, I'm gonna to go to design, sizing and set my gutter width. So here I'm gonna set this to one. The gutter width is the space between the columns. Next, I'm gonna come over here to my width and set this to 300 pixels. So now the next stage is to head over to our padding and I'm gonna click on spacing and our padding here is going to be 20 pixels to the top and zero to the bottom and zero to the bottom. Now the next step is to add our box shadow. So I'm gonna go with the first one here and now you can see that we have our shape right here because before, we were unable to see it. Right, so now that we have all this set, I'm going to save this and add a text module by clicking on this plus button. So I'm gonna search for my text here and select it. So here in the main text area, we're going to add our text and we're just gonna call this related posts. Now let's head over to the design tab because we need to adjust the font. So I'm gonna click here on text. And our font here is going to be called Hebo. So I'm just gonna search for it and here it is. I'm gonna select that and then I'm gonna go to my font style. Make sure this is set to all caps. And then I'm also going to add my color. And by the way, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so moving on, we need to center this. So I'm gonna come over here and center this text, and then I'm going to save. Now I need to add another module, and this time this is going to be a blog module. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, and here it is, I'm gonna select it. All right, so first things first, we're going to uh, come over here to post count and set this to one, because we just want to show one related post. And uh, included categories, we're just gonna say current category. So I'm gonna select that. Now, as you can see here, this blog uh, module is showing quite a lot of things. So we need to customize a few things here. So I'm gonna come over here to elements and disable quite a lot of it. So let's start off by removing the author, show date, show categories. Okay, so now we just have the uh, featured image. And you know what? We also don't need these uh, excepts and we also don't need the pagination. So let's get rid of that as well because we want it to be as minimal as possible. Now let's go ahead and style this because right now it doesn't look really, really nice. So let's go to design. And the very first thing we're gonna do is to work on our font. So let's go to our title font here. 
And uh, we are going to set this to Hebo, what we've just used before. There we go. And then next, I'm going to set my title text size and set this to 16. And uh, moving on, I'm going to set my line height to 1.4. And then I'm going to add some padding because as you can see, everything is way too close to the edge here. So I'm going to scroll down to spacing and I'm going to add a top and bottom left and right padding of 5%. So as you can see here, I'm activating my chain. I'm going to do the same here as well. And now we've got a bit of space around our post. Now it's time to add a bit of CSS. So I'm going to come over here to the advanced tab. So the very first thing we need to do is to add a CSS class. So I'm going to click here and add our class. And our class is going to be CSS class colon post row. Now the next step is to come over here to custom CSS. And in the main elements, we need to add this CSS code. And then finally, we need to go to the um, Z index. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here to visibility. Okay, so I'm going to come over over here to position and set this set index to 999. So this is always going to be above everything. Sorry, on the CSS class here, it needs to be post row. Okay, so that's going to be the CSS class. So now the next step is to add our triggers. So I'm going to save this. And we are going to go to where our content here ends. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. And I'm going to add a divider for this. I'm going to select it. And then over here on, in fact, you know what? Let's uh, not show the divider here. Next, we need to click on divider, CSS ID and classes. And here we need to add a class. And this is going to be called post waypoint. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to save this. And we're also going to need another trigger because we need uh, two of these triggers. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this module. So now you can paste this, you know, uh, wherever you want. So I would say just below the related post here is a better place to add it. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. In fact, I need to paste it. So I'm going to right click and paste module. There we go. So I've just pasted it here. So this is what's going to trigger the pop up to get off the screen. So the next step now is to add a code module. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I want to come over here to expand settings, click on wireframe view. So this code module, you can place it pretty much anywhere you want. So I'm just going to add mine here. Here it is. So now you need to paste this code. So this code here can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So at any point, you can just go ahead and uh, just copy this exactly as it is, and you will get the desired result. All right, so I'm going to save this now, and then I'm going to come over here to my front end. So I'm going to save this template. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a final look at this and see if this trigger actually works. So I'm going to save changes. I'm going to refresh my post. So now if we take a look at our blog post and I start scrolling, you can see now it is uh, come on the screen. And once it, it hits the trigger, it is going to disappear. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you the next video.